Hi, welcome to my channel. Now we continue with the part two of this tutorial. We are going to install Anaconda on the Raspberry Pi device we, and then on we will install PyTorch. First of all, you have to go to this uh, web page, to this repository and install Miniforge. You need to choose the correct version of your uh, according to your operating system, in our case, uh, uh, as we have Raspberry Pi, is an AR64 device. So uh, you just need to, to choose this this binary uh, and download it to your to your machine. The best uh, the best way to do that is uh, you remember in part one, I, I, I we decide to to uh, activate SSH uh, to in in the Raspberry Pi device, so we we are going to connect to the to the device uh, using SSH. Just simply connect via SSH to the IP address of your of your machine. In my case, is is 64. If you if you choose to as we we configure in the in the part one of this tutorial the graphic version if you put the the server you can you can basically check the ip address going to the graphical interface of the, the raspberry pi in my case i i'm i'm going to connect after that to the using ssh pretty simple Okay, now you are in, in your in your Raspberry device. Now we are going to check which version of the operating system we have. So it's AR64. It's a 64 version, but just to be completely sure, use this command, and it has to get you 64 bytes. Now you are you can be completely sure that it's a 64 bits uh, operating system. Then on, um, let's choose this command to, in order to install uh, mini mini force. Pretty simple. It's already Raspberry con with piget and directly is launching the installation of Conda Force. You accept the license term, you choose the the folder where you want to install. Oh sorry, I had already this install the the binaries I strongly recommend you, you to initialize the environment and to this tick effort you need to exit the session and enter again once you you are again on your Raspberry, you can execute Conda. You will see that now Conda is working very well, no problem. Now we are going to create an environment Conda Pythons, for example. I will choose Python version 3.10. This is going to take a couple of minutes. I will wait. No worries. It's, it's, it's fine. We activate the environment. And um, yeah, if we go to PyTorch. You can install the latest version of PyTorch. We had to choose CPU. <laughs> Up to now, uh, well, we, we don't have a GPU in our Raspberry device. And then um, well, we take the latest version 2.1. We choose Conda 
Python language CPU. So copy paste this command. Let's go to the machine. And yeah, this is gonna take a while as well, so I will uh, stop here and then and I will return when the installation is is finished. You can see here that uh, all the packages and dependencies are being installed on the on the environment, and then it's again it's taking a while. I will be back when it's finished. Okay, the installation is finished. Now we are going to set to to check if the configuration is is co is correct. Just go to Python, import torch, check. For example, if you had so then before. And now I just create a small script. Well, I copy basically from from the internet. It's just very fine. Uh, it the uh, it the version of Python is working properly. Uh, let's check also the version. And now execute the command. Okay, that's all. And okay, you like uh, this tutorial? Please give me a like or subscribe to my channel. I will give you. Uh, I will publish more content very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.